See it my way one presents The Blind Treasure Hunter with Shane Kubot. Here we are on the river. I got my metal detector here. We're gonna try to get on that way. <laughs> So we're having some fun. Hello everybody, I am Shane and welcome back to See It My Way. This is gonna be another episode of The Blind Treasure Hunter. And CJ Morgan and I are out here at the river and we're gonna try this. This is gonna be our first stop. I think CJ's simplex is sitting out there somewhere. <laughs> so here's where we are guys. We're gonna give this a try and see what we can find. Okay guys, we're gonna move to a different spot and CJ and Morgan found this neat thing. He thinks it's a top to a piston. That's pretty neat, and I found a little tiny piece of lead and a fishing lure. Yep, so we're gonna move on from this area and see what else we can find. Here's my little kayak sit up there. All my junk. All right, everybody, I'll see you on the next spot. Here's a nice, beautiful rock cliff. See, they said it's nice, beautiful, about 200 feet. Let me see if I can make sure I get it all. <laughs> yeah, very nice, huh, guys? Alrighty, we're gonna keep on moving. Okay guys, we're here at a different spot of the river and I do believe I found myself an old mini ball. Nice piece of lead, that's pretty awesome. So Paul's here with us now and we're gonna have an awesome time no matter what we find. All right everybody, I'll see you on the next wet target. Well look at this guys, that is awesome. That is a flat button. The shanks broke off, but that's all right. <laughs> this is a cool find, a nice old 1700s flat button. I don't know if there's anything fancy on it, but nice. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, hopefully I can find something else. Well, look at that guys, I found a homemade sinker and it still has the cloth string on it. That is awesome. All right guys, we'll see you on the next target. Well, look at that guys, I found another homemade sinker. That is completely awesome. <laughs> Everybody's having fun in the water here behind me. <laughs> All right guys, I'll see you on the next target. All right everybody, check that out. It's a little tiny cuff button. I'm not sure if it says anything on it, but it has the little shank. So thank you, Paul, for uh, sharing yeah, your little spot here. For me. <laughs> he won't find anything, but he doesn't care. <laughs> Take it all, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see you on the next target, guys. Holy cow. Look at the size of that sinker, guys. That is a humongous sinker. That is crazy. I've never found one like that before. All right, everybody. I think we might be wrapping up here soon, so we'll see you on the wrap-up. Holy cow, guys, look at that. I got up and started swinging again, and right there was another one. This exact same huge sinker. That is awesome. All right, guys. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you on the wrap-up this time. Oh, all right, guys, here we go. We're going back down the river. Heading to the trucks. It was an awesome day, we had a great time. All right guys, we're gonna get ready to go through a set of rapids here. <laughs> There's, where's Morgan? Okay everybody, here is the wrap up and today's wrap up shout out is gonna go to EZ Diggin. So Ezra gets on to a lot of cool stuff. So you guys wanna go check out his channel. He's at 111 subscribers right now. So guys, let's go over and subscribe to him and try to get him up to 150. I'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, here's the wrap up. So I didn't find a lot, but man, I had a blast metal detecting in the river. I got to hang out with Morgan, CJ, and Paul. You know, we had a blast, you know, kayaking down the river and stopping and metal detecting. So here's everything I found. I found the two big sinkers, and those are big honkers. They're huge. I guess those are like two ounce. I don't even know. I'm not sure if it says anything on it. <laughs> um, not sure what this thing is, guys. That's some kind of weird piece of lid. I don't know if that was a sinker or some kind of weird bullet. 
no idea. Um, let's see here. There was a, I'm pretty sure that's a bullet. I think that's a copper jacketed bullet. And there's just a, that was a 38 shell. Uh, there's the fishing spoon. And there's the two homemade sinkers. And this one here has the cloth string on it still. That is awesome. I love finding these ones. I think this one here has a little hole in it. I'm not sure. Yeah, a little hole right there at the top of that one. So that's pretty neat. Uh, there was a spoon sinker. I don't think that's very old. Little ring thing. <laughs> and this here piece of lead. This is interesting. I'm pretty sure this is a piece of lead. What do you guys think that would have been off of? What kind of flexible lead thing is? I'm pretty sure that's lead. It feels like lead. It's interesting though. Oh, uh, where am I at here? There's all my little tiny bits of lead, lead pieces. Unrecognizable pieces of lead, and this here little round thing. I don't know what this is, guys. I don't know if that's a piece of lead. It might have been a little button. I have no idea what that could have been. And there's, I believe this is a mini ball. So that's pretty cool. A uh, little brass grommet. Hard to tell what that brass grommet could have came from. Uh, it's a little, oh, that's a 22 lead bullet. <laughs> uh, here's another kind of grommet thing. I'm not sure what that's to. That's pretty neat. And the coolest things of this hunt is this here large flat button. That's really cool. And this little tiny cuff button. The shank is still on it, but it's it's still there though. That's completely awesome. I love finding flat buttons. I don't find many, but when I find them, I love it. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this river hunt. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, keep happy. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.